Hi there, it's James from Twinkle and welcome to another video where today we're going to be looking at four fun and exciting ways that we can use science flashcards. In this video we're going to be looking at some of the fun ways that we can use flashcards in the classroom or at home. With so many topics in science, kids will love using these flashcards to learn all about science. One way to use these flashcards is to play an ordering game where you give the child an activity to order them using different categories and topics. For this one I'm using the planets and the sun. For this ordering game I want the child to order the planets from the nearest to the sun to the furthest from the sun. You can play many other ordering games such as the biggest to smallest and you can even order them by putting them in different categories. For this animal habitat matching game I've chosen just a few of the cards, some that they might not be too sure about. So it's their job to find out which of these three animals belong in the African Plains habitat. As you can see I've chosen some animals that look like they could possibly fit in that environment. On this resource there is a range of other habitats similar to the one I've printed. You could also use these plants and flowers flashcards to group them into categories as well, such as grouping according to their features or grouping them to which season they're most commonly seen. For this activity I'd first make sure that everyone knows which animal is which. I would then turn over all the cards like so and then it's a case of a matching game matching the picture to the correct name. You could then add extra elements to this game such as ordering the animals from the smallest to biggest, most endangered to least endangered or even putting them into groups such as herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. For this activity we're going to be finding the correct animal that goes with the infant name. This is a great activity to find out which infants they already recognise that go with the correct animal. If there's any they're unsure of, they could then use this as a research task to find out all of the animals and their infants. Using these electrical circuits flashcards can be a great way of helping children to obtain the information that they've been learning at school or at home. By using the flashcards, children can create their own circuits and check with an adult if the circuit would work. They could replace certain flashcards or even add in more flashcards and check with an adult to see if it would still work. Using a whiteboard or even a piece of paper can be a great way of helping children to categorise certain cards, such as these matching cards. Here we're separating the herbivores to the carnivores. You may want to use this activity to help the children categorise their cards into their different habitats for example. Another great way to use these flashcards is to use them as an art prompt to create the image out of something from things around the house, from clay, from paint or even from building bricks like I've shown here. One of the great things about this activity is that not only these flashcards work but any on this video would work perfectly for this activity. This activity would be great for a home learning task or even something fun to do on the weekends. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's inspired you to come up with some great ways of using these flashcards whether you're at home or at school. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again.